Boneless, skinless chicken breast can get a bad rep for being boring, and it's one of the most common lean proteins out there. A ton of people buy it, use it, but a lot of people don't know how to make it really well. With the right techniques, you can ensure a juicy, flavorful chicken breast. One of the best ways to make your chicken breast more flavorful and juicier is marinating it. Marinades impart more flavor, they seal in moisture, and they tenderize the meat. So the first thing I'm going to do is cube the chicken. This is totally optional. You can still use marinades with a full breast, but for this recipe, I'm going to cube it. For our marinade, I'm going to use soy sauce, lime juice, brown sugar, garlic, ginger, and Fresno chilies. You can play around with marinades and use tons of different options. It's really up to personal preference and what flavors you like. You actually want to avoid using oil in marinades. Meat is about 80% water and oil doesn't actually penetrate the flesh, whereas something like salt will. You could use herbs or lemon, garlic and red pepper flakes. You can really customize it to what you want it to be. The important thing is to remember to let it marinate for at least 30 minutes so that it fully penetrates the skin. So for this recipe, I'm going to put the cubed meat onto skewers before baking it. If you're using wooden skewers, make sure to soak them in water for at least 10 minutes, if not longer, to prevent the skewers from burning and drying out the chicken. Bake it at 425 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. That's it, you're done. It's that easy. Marinating chicken is a great way to impart flavor, but it does take nearly an hour. Here's a faster way to get really flavorful chicken breast. A spice rub is a great alternative to a marinade because it's really fast and simple to make. We're using salt, pepper, garlic powder, paprika, chili powder, and cumin. You can absolutely play around, just make sure salt is one of the ingredients in your spice rub. Pepper too. A spice rub may feel like a lot in comparison to just adding salt and pepper, and it absolutely does add more flavor. You really want to be generous with the amount of spices that you're using. Once you've made your spice rub, make sure to evenly coat each chicken breast. And that's it. It's super simple, super fast. Now we can move on to the next step. Preheat the pan over medium heat and then coat the bottom with oil. Once the oil begins to shimmer, you can add the chicken breasts. Without moving, let it cook for six to 10 minutes on each side, depending on how thick the chicken breast is. You don't wanna move the chicken around a lot. You're only gonna flip it once. Once the internal temperature is at 165, you're ready to take it off the pan. After you're done cooking, let the chicken rest for about five minutes just so it can fully absorb all the juices. That's it. It's super quick, super simple, and it results in really flavorful chicken breasts. Boneless, skinless chicken breasts are a great option for people that are more health conscious, but oftentimes it's just what people gravitate towards. But if you really want to expand your culinary horizons, you should look towards other cuts of chicken. Bone-in, skin-on chicken thighs are even more foolproof. They inherently have much more flavor and they're actually really easy to make. If you want to up your chicken game, check out this technique. In terms of seasoning, salt and pepper will go a long way. It's already super flavorful on its own. We're also gonna add a little thyme and rosemary just to give it an extra kick. We're going to heat the pan over medium high heat and add oil until it starts to glisten. Add the chicken thighs skin side down and you're gonna cook it for a few minutes until it becomes golden brown and crispy. With any protein with skin, you always wanna start skin side down and cook it for the majority of the time like that. It should take four to six minutes for the skin to crisp up. Once it does, flip it over and cook it for about two to three minutes or until the bottom becomes golden brown. At this point, you can put it straight in the oven and be done with the dish, but we're gonna add a little extra flavor. So remove the chicken thighs from the pan and then add onions and cook until they're softened. Add a few lemon slices on top of the onions, put the chicken back on, and then pop it in the oven at 375 for 15 to 20 minutes. It truly couldn't be easier. There's so many ways you can make boneless, skinless chicken breast more interesting, but we really encourage you to get out there and try other cuts of chicken. Try these new techniques and see what'll happen. Expand your poultry horizons. Oh, I know. I don't know, poultry's not a great word. Poultry's not a great word. Mm.